Today is Friday, July 31st, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. Waiving fines and ticket fees, an idea that the District Attorney of San Joaquin County is now proposing. District Attorney Tori Verber Salazar posted a letter which she wrote to the presiding judge of San Joaquin County. The letter called on the court to strike discretionary fines and fees for infractions and misdemeanor crimes. In the letter, Verber Salazar says that such fines disproportionately impact people of color and those already struggling financially. She wrote the letter due to the economic impacts of the coronavirus pandemic. People have come forward in opposition of the new proposal, for example, the Stockton Police Officers Association, who says that without fines, criminals will feel more likely to commit misdemeanor crimes and people will feel too encouraged to make traffic infractions. Beginning on August 1st, all deputy district attorneys will be requested to waive all fees and fines in those cases. Well, Sheriff's Department chase ended in a vehicle being submerged into a Stockton River yesterday. The suspect is now behind bars. Just before 3 p.m., San Joaquin County Sheriff's deputies tried to make a traffic stop in the 2400 block of Mendocino Avenue. However, the vehicle fled at a fast speed. A short pursuit then occurred, ending when the suspect's vehicle ended up in the water near Mission Road and River Drive. The vehicle was soon submerged into the water, but the suspect got out and tried to hide in the brush and water. Deputies had a perimeter set up and sent out their boating units who took him into custody. 38-year-old Ronald Boomback uh, was taken to an area hospital and then booked into county jail. In his, in his vehicle, deputies found a gun that was not registered to him. Coming up after the break, the emergency food bank getting some help today. More about local donations. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The San Joaquin Emergency Food Bank has a new set of wheels to add to their fleet today. Budget Blinds, a company based out of Stockton, donated one of their vans to the food bank. The large van, which you can see here, will now be used for delivering food, picking up food, and more. That donation also came on the heels of another donation by a local organization, the Central Valley Community Bank. The bank donated $10,000 to 14 different local food banks in the area, including the San Joaquin Emergency Food Bank. As part of their business food, bun business food fund challenge, I should say, in response to the coronavirus pandemic. The bank has collected a list of local food banks and how you can donate. That list is available at cvcb.com forward slash business dash food dash fund dash challenge. That's all for this SCW News Digest. Thank you for watching. Have a nice weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday with more news from Stockton.